a lot of constructed pieces, which I like because I do a fair amount as, as, as much as I do established revivals of musicals, I also do a lot of new stuff and right. I love doing right. new stuff. And so I think I got my start really in college because we would construct pieces as well as, um, you know, do established pieces. And when I was in college, I was lucky enough to, we had a 10 show season that was all new work. Wow. Um, it was a Rockefeller grant and I was very fortunate to be cast in almost everything. So I got, that's where I met Bill Finn. So I got to experience a lot of things that were interesting and were interesting to me. So um, I guess that's where it started. And I would credit Judith Swift as being one of the people that influenced me the most. Yeah. And devised theater in general now is, is definitely taught in the academic curriculums of theater programs, this whole yeah. devising theater using actors and designers and directors and said yeah as well yeah. so you certainly run the gamut from um you know a to z m to t musical i try dramas, you know i'm yeah. interested in doing everything i'm not it, what happens in show business obviously is that people think it's like that ben brant quote brantley quote uh, okay. about being a, a lungs of steel roller. i i don't know i mean that i don't understand i don't kind of don't understand that but I suppose it's complimentary, um, but you know, I like I like when people say to me, "Hey, I didn't know you could do that," because I can do lots of things, and generally they will just put you in a little tiny box and say, "Here's what you do," and we want you to do that over and over again. So um, I like being able to do a lot of different sure. interesting things. Well, I would say, Mary, from the from what we talked about today, and also showing the clips, you are not in any one box whatsoever. I mean, I hope not. That's good. Boxes that are out there that you have certainly been, you know, been been part of and filled quite nicely and quite fully. Um, but one more question before we need to say goodbye to you, and that is, um, is there something on your bucket list that you're just waiting for someone to say, Mary Testa, I I want to do this and I want to do it with you. And am I the one that, yeah, go ahead. The one thing I've always wanted to do. Um, was play Catherine in Taming of the Shrew. Oh. Um, I think people would say I'm probably too old, but I don't think so. And I find it a really interesting role. And it's something I've always wanted to do. We almost, we read it at um, CSC when Brian Kulik was the artistic director. He right. asked me what I wanted to do and I told him that. We had a reading of it, but it never went any further than that. And um, I don't know, I've always wanted to do that. Other than that, I want to do interesting new work. Right. And the Taming of the Shrew, would you, would you want to change the ending of all? Would you want to revise the ending of that at all or just do it the way? No, it, I yeah. would like to find a way to do it proper and make it make sense. And make it make sense. Yeah. That would be terrific. Well, yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, other than people, you know, thinking about ageism, I don't think you're too old to play the role. Of, I think of she's supposed. She's probably should be like forty-five. Okay. Well, I'm a little. I'm older than that, but okay. I don't read my age, and so I think I could do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know, you were Rita Laporta in Lucky Stiff. I mean, exactly. <laughs> that, that happened. So, Mary, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for asking yeah. me. I've had a delightful time. And thank you. It's been fun to watch all these clips. <laughs> yeah, and we like to do that because, again, many of our viewers, you know, they one of the things they like is that they might not know the person. They might have heard yeah. about them but not know it. Oh, sure. So this is a way to engage them in so much, you know. I and, don't and have 26,000 followers, so they probably don't know who I am. But that's okay.